Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a chess tactic called the hook and a ladder trick. What is the hook and ladder trick? Chinese proverb says that a picture is worth a thousand words. So let's have a look at the game first. This was the game between Levon Aronian and Peter Svidla that was played in Tal Memorial Tournament in Moscow in 2006. Aronian had white pieces and he started with d4. Svidla played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, d5, and we have Grunfeld defense. Bishop to g5, knight to e4 attacking bishop, bishop to h4, knight takes knight doubling pawns, pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn, e3, white wants to recapture pawn with bishop, but bishop to e6, defending pawn, queen to b1, attacking pawn on b7, queen to d5, defending, knight to f3, knight to d7, bishop to e2, bishop to f5, attacking queen, queen to b2, bishop to g7, in this position, it is possible to play knight to b6. And then we would have this continuation, a4, that is a5. So black would play a5, castling, bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, e4, queen takes pawn, rook from f to e1, White sacrificed a pawn to open up the file for his rook. Queen to d5, rook to e5, and after queen to d7, black is two pawns up, but under a lot of pressure. White is better developed and white pieces are more active. Bishop can't go to g7 because threat is rook takes on e7. So in the game, Bishop to g7 was played. White castled the kingside. Now knight to b6, defending pawn. a4, a5, knight to d2, bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, rook from f to b1, queen to c6, queen to a3. What is the purpose of this move? What do you think? If it's right to move, what would he play? That is checkmate on e7. Black castle at kingside. c4. Knight takes pawn. Knight takes knight. Queen takes on c4. Bishop takes pawn, attacking rook. Rook from f to e8, attacking bishop. Bishop is protected by queen. Rook to d1. White wants to recapture pawn, but first he'll have to move bishop to g5 or h4. Rook from a to c8. Bishop to g5. c5, attacking white center. Now queen takes on d3. Black captured pawn on d4. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? Please note, this is not a killer move. White should play a good move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white. I'll give you some suggestions. What about rook from a to b1? Or maybe pawn takes pawn, is that good? Or maybe you have something else to play. So what was your move? In the game, white captured pawn on d4. And now it is black to move. Black made a move 
and game was over. What is the move? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that black played in this position. Ready? Would you play this? Check. And that is the hook and the ladder trick. The ladder is removed from under the queen and queen dropped dead. Actually in the game, in this position, after check, white resigned. What a game and what a mistake. So this move, pawn takes pawn, was a blunder. So even grandmasters can blunder. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.